We are live. At least I hope we are. Can somebody write something in the chat? So let me know if the audio is okay and if you can hear and see me just fine. Great. All right. So kind of a semi-surprise um, live stream tonight. I was planning on doing live stream this month, like I said in the um, in the recap video, 2022 recap, that we will continue on making these live streams, but then, you know, stuff happens and now we are heading towards the end of January and next weekend actually I am off traveling and hopefully doing some camping as well, so this was kind of the last chance to do a quick live stream. Um, I made a community post a couple of days ago talking about the upcoming uh, year reviews. So I figured that I will do a quick live stream talking about those. What exactly am I going to be reviewing? And I think we could start with the most um, exciting thing first. And that would be this sleeping bag. This is actually something that is um, not even... So, so this is a pre-production model and the sleeping bag itself will be available through a Kickstarter campaign starting in a couple of days, so next week. Uh, unfortunately, I was supposed to have my laptop open so I could add links and stuff uh, while we are chatting here um, to the live stream chat and description and so forth, but the hotspotting with the phone didn't work uh, this time for one reason or another, so I cannot add any links, but I will add those afterwards. Uh, so, but the main point of this sleeping bag is that the insulation method is aerogel. So not down or synthetic fill, but aerogel uh, squeezed between layers of uh, Recycled fleece. Rakka. Yaros. Hyvä. <laughs> so aerogel. In case you don't know what aerogel is, it is the, I guess, the lightest material in the world. So practically as close to just air as you can get. So even just the tiny slice of aerogel can insulate um, really, really well. You can find tons of YouTube videos about aerogel and how it works, and it is quite remarkable. And at least this is the first time I've seen such material to be used in a sleeping bag. But at this point, I don't know anything about the price range of the sleeping bag or, or about the Kickstarter campaign in general, not a lot. Uh, I've been now testing that only for one night. So last night I did sleep outside with the sleeping bag. There's a couple of things that I noticed already, but I still need to double check those with the company who is about to launch the Kickstarter campaign, because I believe some of those features that I, I think that are missing from the sleeping bag uh, are missing only from my pre-production version and not the actual sleeping bag that is then going to be in the Kickstarter campaign. Um, all right, looks like we have 23 folks now online. Could you write something in the chat? Just let me know that if everything is sounding and looking okay. And hopefully I can see the chat as well. Okay, hello. Hi Christian and hi Alsi. <laughs> Cheers. All right, sounds good. Good guys. So an interesting sleeping bag stuff. It, it's Probably out of all these items, it's not going to be a full-on review. Um, hello, Jarski. Because I'm just, I just had the sleeping bag, and in all honesty, I will only sleep a couple of nights uh, in it before I will make my video. Kiitos, Anne. But then other kind of smaller stuff that I've been now testing throughout this winter. First of all, um, Lumonite Vector headlamp. Those of you who have been following my channel for a while 
might recognize this. So this is Lumonite Pixel. And I got this Lumonite Vector now in starting in the beginning of maybe November or something like that. I did post it on something about this on Instagram back then. And it's basically, if you know what a Lumonite Pixel is or what a Lumonite Compass is, this Vector is kind of the middle sized version of the three headlamps, brand new for this winter. And I've been liking Pixel and so far this hasn't disappointed. It comes with one major upgrade over the Pixel, uh, beside of course the bigger size and therefore bigger battery life and brighter, um, brighter, uh, br brighter brightness, so more lumen, so it is brighter headlamp. But there's one difference as well that I've noticed and which is a good one. So there will be a short review of that. Then this one, this is now my second winter using this one. So this is Phoenix CL09. Little USB rechargeable lantern. Has been super helpful, super durable construction. And something that I will now take with me basically on all trips during the darker season. So late fall, during now winter and then early spring, this comes with me. Because it is so small, it's lightweight, it doesn't take any space at all, but it makes a big difference then in the camp. Record of cut. Uh. Then, after these ones, or not necessarily after these ones, but we'll see when I get around to do it. I will do a short video of this. This is just a Trangia multi-lid. Seemingly super simple item as it is, but I found it very helpful. Something that I consider should come with the Trangia kit. And the reason I'm making these videos, even though if the... No. Even if the review videos would be quite short and simple, but it's just Whenever I'm purchasing something myself, I like to look on YouTube, uh, see reviews and whatnot, and just get a bit better sense of what exactly am I going to get, and if the item is what I'm looking for or not. And therefore, even a short video about something as simple as this might be helpful for someone. And judging by the amount of views my product review videos get, uh, that seems to be the case, that people do find those, do find them helpful, even if they are short. You know, sometimes they are very long, especially if I'm going through like a backpack or something, which obviously needs a longer video to cover um, all the features and everything there is to it. Yeah. But... <laughs> Hola, Paul. But... Maybe next up, so after those four that I have lined up, there could be something else still coming, but I cannot confirm that yet. And um, besides all of these, I would like to hear if there's some specific item maybe that you've seen me using, or maybe a kind of a group of items or a genre of items that you would most uh, be most interested in seeing those reviews coming. Uh, please let me know whether that is about uh, Well, probably not about sleeping bags because I made like Great video in my opinion about sleeping bags in general what what you need to know everything you need to know about sleeping bags but maybe other stuff like cooking gear or uh, Camp electronics in general. Uh, I think that's a topic that doesn't get discussed uh, Nearly as much just I would think it should be because everyone is carrying electronics these days with them outdoors and uh, not a lot of people talk about how to manage all that, how to keep them running, especially during winter when battery life is, is going to be a problem with many of the items. Then maybe if people are interested, maybe enough people are, maybe not. I have this tool uh, backpack that needs a proper review. I think when I got it, uh, there wasn't a single review on, on YouTube, maybe one in German, so 
maybe that's something. It's a child carrier backpack uh, by Thule. Uh, it's very nice, but it has some uh, silly design features that I think uh, needs to be addressed in that video. So maybe along those lines. Um, then also in the previous or maybe the first live stream, somebody asked that may I should do a video about my military gear, so kind of the reservist military gear stuff. Maybe if if you guys think that would be interesting or helpful, let me know. And of course, the cold weather clothing series is going to continue. Uh, I'm just waiting uh, cold enough weather to come back. We had nice cold winter weather, but now it's been only like minus five again for a while, so not a lot. Uh, if a proper winter weather comes back, uh, I will also do a video about these things. These are snowshoes that cost I'd like to say maybe something like 20 to 50 euros in Finland. Kind of generic, it's sold under many brands. This is called North Ice. So very cheap snowshoes, aluminum construction. And these are what I got last winter. TSL 227XLs. And these are um, pretty high-end, not the most expensive thing out there, but definitely prices vary between 100 and maybe 120 to 170 euros, something like that. So a huge, huge difference. So I think it's worth making a video of what exactly are you paying for when you buy something like this compared to something like this. Because something like this is probably the better option for most people. And you really need to think hard if you want to spend the extra money then on something like this. Uh, for me, definitely was worth the investment. Something that I've been kind of dreaming of getting <laughs> for a long while. And last winter when I did get this, I did find the quality extremely good. And there's just a bunch of features in this bit of high-end snowshoes that I didn't even realize exist before I got this. So I think that sounds like a like a reasonable video to be made. Um, unfortunately, there is no way for me to see kind of the chat um, history as far as I can tell. But I noticed that someone mentioned that reservist gear would be something that you could be interested in. Um, so yeah, maybe that is coming. I'm planning to do the Varustaleka Remote Military March again this year, in if it happens. And if they do arrange it, um, then I'm planning on partaking in the recon category and doing 50 kilometers one day, sleeping outdoors, and then 50 kilometers in the other, or the following day. Because I finally got my own own jacket and of course I had pants already earlier so I have my own full BDUs now so I can join the recon category and then I will probably not put on my chest rig when doing that but uh, some other backpack and so forth but maybe that's then after I'm done that we can kind of do a combined video talking about Okay, talking about uh, kind of the military gear and, and what I have and, and why. For those of you who do come from abroad and do not know how the Finnish system works, basically most men here are reservists and have had military training, so that's the main reason. There's something you want to say, Rokka. So now he's quiet. 
of course. <laughs> Anything else? Anything on your mind? Just a quick video. I wanted to do this one. Dog wants to go for a hike. Yes, that is for sure. The weather has been kind of a bad recently. There's been uh, sometimes like it goes above zero, stuff melts, then it goes below zero, everything is frozen. And it's very hard to do any outdoor activities uh, when it, there's either slush or only ice, basically. But next weekend, we are definitely doing something. Either we go uh, basic hiking, camping, or then uh, bikepacking on ice. So that might be interesting. Lake ice. We'll have to see which one it's going to be. But anyway, overnight adventure coming next weekend. Ooh. And maybe one final point when it comes to... Whoop, sorry. When it comes to any type of these Ooh. gear review stuff and videos on YouTube, I do not make those only because I would get stuff for free. Sometimes I do get stuff. For example, this sleeping bag is something that I got, um, but it's a pre-production sleeping bag. So in all honesty, it's not as good as people would get when uh, joining the Kickstarter campaign. But then other times it's stuff that I bought for myself. For example, this lantern or the Trangia set and, and so forth, snowshoes. So yeah, it, it goes both ways. And I always, always try to remember to add the YouTube little tag there that says that this video is sponsored content or whatever. And I do make it very clear, uh, hopefully for all viewers, when something has been sent to me for review. And I also make it very clear for all the companies that I work with that, okay, you can send stuff for me, uh, but be aware that I will say my honest opinion about it. And, you know, there's there's uh, that they have to take that risk when they say they're sent their product to me. So uh, that's, I guess, also a benefit of being a bit of a smaller creator. Polish lavo tent, if you even fit. You mean the one that is made uh, kind of the Polish, old Polish military style lavo? They, um, but they carry the more honest reviews for you. Yeah, those are coming. So the Polish level tent, I think that's the one that is very popular among the kind of bushcraft YouTube, right? And I doubt that I would fit in. Um, in <laughs> that's that's actually kind of, kind of uh, my main issue right now with uh, when testing this sleeping bag. Uh, it's a bit short for me, but I can fit in when uh, when my knees are a bit bent. Uh, but also when if I try to do a bit of like sleeping on my side and whatnot, then my shoulders kind of lift up the collar section in that sleeping bag and that lets the draft in and so forth. So, but yeah, I will have to double check those things from the company uh, that is going to launch the Kickstarter. But link into that will be in this video's description soon after this live stream. Um, yeah, so there was a question of maybe I should do a video about my hiking boots and uh, my opinions on why I would go with certain um, designs or technologies with them, like Vibram or uh, Gore-Tex. And yeah, there are a lot of opinions about those. And actually, kind of funny thing is that while I do prefer Gore-Tex boots most of the time, I just got myself brand new rubber boots, but these are for skiing and winter use as well. So as with a lot of the gear and a lot of the clothing and so forth, I don't try to kind of cage myself within just one genre of, of being outdoors. I don't have to be a bushcraft guy or I don't have to be traditionalist or I don't have to be kind of uh, there's a word for the type who only uses like super technical clothing and so forth. But uh, that escapes from me right now. So I try to use a bit of everything, whatever works, basically. Don't try to just adhere to your own group. Try to see what the others are up to as well. Yeah, it's got <laughs> specialist. Uh, fair enough. Because I do have like super technical clothing as well. But 
then I do have uh, simpler stuff like a lot of basic wool garments and things like that. Yeah. So yeah. But I think this is it for this time. Just a quick update for you guys so you know what is coming. I believe links to all of these products in the description and also kind of the pre-link to the Kickstarter campaign so you can check it out for yourself. Uh, probably the next video that I will be uploading will be my whole or whole full preview video of that um, uh, sleeping bag from Ar Argentina. Okay, that's nice. Uh, probably the first one saying that they're from Argentina. It's it always blows my mind when I check out my YouTube analytics and see where you guys are coming from or watching from, should I say. But that's nice. So yeah, sleeping back video next. Then after that, there will be one video that is kind of, it's either the backpacking trip that we are now taking in, in a week's time or then uh, something that is uh, completely different, uh, kind of a fun little video to make. Uh, talks a bit about, um, not so much actually, well, it touches upon outdoor things, but it's actually a topic that is relevant for every one of you. I guarantee it's relevant for every one of you, because all of you are watching this video on some technological device, so it's going to be relevant. <laughs> 34 Celsius over here. Jesus. Yeah, crazy, crazy times. I hope it would be minus 34 here, but yeah, it's not. <laughs> yeah, snowshoe video is also coming uh, definitely probably a little later this winter uh, after I get some more kilometers done with those. All right, I think this is it for this time. Thanks a lot. Thanks everyone for joining and I will see you on the next video or actually we will see you on the next video that is for sure so cheers